Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Raging Reality reaction video. Today guys, another Metallica one lined up for you and I'm pretty sure this is one I know a lot of people are going to like. The Four Horsemen. Now, considering the like to dislike ratio on this video and the view count, I, I, think, that, I think this is popular for a reason and I can't wait to see it because I think Killer Mall is... Probably going to be a little bit of a the hit this a secret weapon for Metallica because the only other song I've heard on this uh, album is uh, Seek and Destroy and that proved to be a really fun uh, thrash uh, metal song so I can't wait to see what uh, what for the Four Horsemen's got in store. The link will be in the description down below. Let's begin. Four Horsemen. You have been dying since the day you were born. Yeah, I can believe that. That I can totally believe that's a Metallica line. <laughs> Okay, I'll tell you what, uh, 218, I must say, the what I love about this song is just, it never seems to slow down. Well, I say slow down, it never really seems to take a break. This sounds like this would be an absolute nightmare to play at a studio or a gig, because this is just loud, it is on, it keeps you awake. This is... This is fantastic. This is, this is, I'm loving this. The, the mu And I haven't even talked about the lyrics, but the music is... I love... Well, I, I like it when Metallica plays things a little bit more soulful, they're a little bit more... They're not so much thrash, they're more like a, a b b blend, blend between very good rock and metal. I also like songs that just keep you awake, but they don't do it by screaming, they just give you a nice tune, and it's absolutely playing back in your head over and over again. That I can get by, and I get this. I, I'm, I'm having a great time.
I really shouldn't be here begging because I've got like a, I've got a, I've actually got a massive migraine right now and it 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 it's yeah. But I, I'll 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 happily still listen to this. No bother. That's just great. Wow, that was, oh my god, I, I've, I've only just come out and I've just realised how good that actually sounded because I, I'm, I'm going to actually start off with saying this, uh, usually in most Metallica songs the lyrics absolutely deliver a very powerful punch only because the music and the production that goes behind them, they do such a great job of like building some kind of atmosphere as it were, I mean let's start with uh, well, for whom the bell tolls, it starts obviously with the uh, the anonymous uh, sound of a bell chiming. Then the uh, that jaws uh, kind of segment I mentioned there. It's supposed to like build up dread, is I am what I imagine for the context of fighting in war. In the four horsemen's case, uh, say it they they like I said they don't ever stop playing this song just goes on and on in music it doesn't seem to want to take a break whatsoever and i think technically you could you could say there are three solos in the song 
like about the two minute mark, the five minute mark and the six minute mark and all of them switch it up. That's absolutely what I love uh, anything about a conflict between a power ballad and a traditional just like a heavy metal tune. If you could switch it up it will almost change like it could change the flow of the song, it could change the meaning of the song. In the case of the Four Horsemen they just elevate the music. They don't usually elevate much of anything else because the because usually the the song the Four Horsemen it keeps quite consistent uh, when it changes things up and then it goes back to lyrics. Also, speaking of the lyrics, uh, obviously this is just describing the supposed Four Horsemen of the of the apocalypse, and I gotta say it's it's quite harrowing in a way when you think of they're not really doing anything else. They're just like paraphrasing for extracts from the Bible or from the legends, as it were, about the Four Horsemen and what they're finally doing. I mean. The, the very last, I mean, one of the last parts uh, where they're actually just describing uh, the four horsemen themselves famine, pestilence, death, and. A t t time? Was time ever a, a horseman? No, I, I don't know. War, war, that's it. That's what the fourth horseman was, war. And strangely enough, it's not mentioned in the lyrics here. That's actually a bit weird. So, so, someone comment down below if war really is. Uh, in fact, I'll just I'll look it up right now. Yep, I was right. So anyway, uh, I haven't really got much else to say about it. It's just it's everything you'd sort of want in a great uh, Metallica power ballad. It's a switch up in music, the bass, the guitar, the drums, all of them play their part. Uh, the, the the singer, James, does a, a really good job. He barely, he in fact, he's probably got the easiest part of this, just doing what James does, just uh, shouting, well, I say shouting, it just, he, he explodes, he forces his voice into the lyrics and he absolutely makes them come to life. Just as in the same way the musicians make uh, the song come to life and it's just a great effort from all of them. I am abs I am I am really, really impressed by the way that came out because again, like I said, that must be horrible to play at a gig because it, one little mistake, I'm pretty sure you could have upset the entire song. I mean, I've gotta give my uh, I've gotta take my hat off to the for to Metallica for that. So anyway. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. I'll also mention this. I am also on... Uh, I have my own uh, Facebook page. I have my own uh, Twitter account. Instagram. So if you want to take a look at some of those and find out what some of my work uh, actually is, feel free to do so. If you want to suggest a, another... Uh, uh, music video to music mu song to react to please leave your thoughts and suggestions in the comments down below make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see all of you in the next video take care